Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Sunday, August 15th. Lots of important news today, not only on EIDL 2.0, which is expected to go live tomorrow, but also on EIDL grants and more importantly, the massive legislation going through Congress. There's a few updates there on the challenges, especially the $3.5 trillion package is facing. I'll talk about all of that. Be sure to watch until the end. And if you wanna help us reach more people, do us a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up. Let's try to reach 2,000 likes. It's the best way for the YouTube algorithm to share this video with more people. Of course, the major headlines today to give this video some historic context when we look back on this is that the Taliban has taken over Kabul and essentially all of Afghanistan. You know, this is after the U.S. being in Afghanistan for 20 years. And today, President Ghani fled and the Taliban has essentially taken over Afghanistan's government. That's a huge deal. This isn't a foreign policy channel, but of course, if you have opinions on this, because this is such important news, feel free to drop it in the comments. Other than that, I'll keep this video about funding for your small business. First, I'll talk about EIDL 2.0, which is set to go live tomorrow, according to the SBA. That's the most important news. Then EIDL grants, and I'll talk about additional funding information. By the way, I want to keep giving shout outs to the people who support us on the App Store, Google Play, Trustpilot, and leave us reviews. That's basically the main way we grow by word of mouth. People like you taking the time to subscribe, like this video, leave comments. So thank you so much, Lori, for this review. Here it is, the best location for correct and timely information information, tons of help, ways to apply for services and fast response. It's been six months since my first review and, and I can honestly say that because of Ryder and his awesome crew, I have been kept well informed of all SBA activities and any necessary steps I need to follow. Yes, loans and advances are taking a while, but it is good to know we've got HelloSkip to do all the digging and keep us informed. Thank you so much, Lori, and to all of you who feel the same way. I even heard from a few of you by email this weekend expressing your gratitude that because of our information and it's not just me our entire team that researches this stuff and of course our sba contacts who help us get this information out to you okay tomorrow covid eidl 2.0 is set to go live this is according to multiple sources including folks at the sba the new cap will be increased from 500k to 2 million now we have some info on what collateral may be required for eidl 2.0 but first, the use of funds have changed. You can use the funds for prepayments such as credit card debt, other commercial debt, or to pay down principal and interest in debt owned by the federal government. We have heard that property may be a required collateral for the $2 million increase. We don't know the full details such as will there be alternatives if you don't own property, what else can you do? Obviously, if you don't own property, you can't put up your property as collateral. So I expect we'll hear about the collateral requirements in tomorrow's announcement. Of course, I'll keep you posted there. Be sure to hit subscribe because as soon as the SBA releases details, I'll post about it on our app and do a quick video so you're in the know. You know, there may not be action required. Tomorrow's announcement may just be kind of like an FYI, here's what's happening. But like all of these programs, we really don't know. So we're gonna keep you posted either way. And of course, if you wanna calculate how much you're eligible for, you can go to EIDL2.com, create an account in 10 seconds, then go to Calculate EIDL Loan Increase Calculator. In this simple example, if you had 2019 revenue of $1 million, you receive 500,000 in EIDL loan funding to date, and you calculate your potential, it would say, based on the new rules, you'd be eligible for an EIDL loan up to $2 million. So you may be eligible for an additional $1.5 million of course, the asterisk here is pending approval, pending SBA collateral requirements, and we hope we'll find out about all the requirements tomorrow from the SBA directly. We have lots of other information here, such as our brand new funding tracker. Previously, this funding tracker was only available on the Skip app. Now it's available on the Skip web dashboard, so we're really excited about this. In short, you can add any EIDL grant, loan, or PPP funding set a funding goal how much do you want in 2021 and the tracker will help you get there okay we help you track the progress and give you the latest posts as well as new funding opportunities curated for you based on where your business is if you're in california you're, you're going to see us wide opportunities and california specific opportunities and you can go to funding help and small business posts on your dashboard as well when you click funding help you'll have the option to see all of our twice weekly grant and funding opportunity roundups 
and some of our more in-depth reports, such as our investigative report on SBA EIDL loans. For example, in our roundup from Friday, we highlighted some state level opportunities from North Carolina, Wisconsin, Kentucky, and a bunch more states. You know, I just bring this up because frankly, many people just don't know about the opportunities that are out there. You know, if you don't know about the opportunity, you can't apply. And so much of this is information is power. If you know about a program, a grant, a loan, funding, you can make the right decisions to help grow and support your business. So that's always our goal to get you the best information. So at least you're in the know. And if something excellent becomes available that you are eligible for, we want you to know about it and apply. Okay, there has been some good news on the targeted and supplemental grants. This is the data from Friday. There has been progress in terms of targeted approvals and supplemental approvals. The good news is every week, more targeted and supplemental get funded. The bad news is, of course, still less than $3 billion has been funded. That's less than 10% of the available funding for this. And this funding has been available since December. The problem, as we all know, is eligibility. Not enough business owners, sole proprietors, qualify under the low income community provision. It does not look like that will change. But anyway, if you're in the queue and you're eligible, you'll likely get funded because the SBA continues to give out approvals for the full 10K and the additional 5K supplemental. Finally, to end today on the legislation, you know our most popular video from last week was when we talked about the $3.5 trillion budget. Here's why, this quote right here, this would be the most significant change to social welfare since the Great Society of the 1960s. So that's six decades, most of our lifetimes, this $3.5 trillion budget called the Anti-Poverty and Climate Change Budget. I highly recommend watching that video. I'll link to it above, but here's what's in it. 1.8 trillion for working families, the elderly, and the environment, a tax cut for Americans making less than $400,000 a year, hundreds of billions in savings on prescription drugs, and ensuring the wealthy and large corporations pay their fair share of taxes. Some of the biggest things here are universal pre-K for three and four year olds, childcare for working families, tuition-free community college, plus housing help, such as helping with down payment assistance, rental assistance, and other homeowner initiatives. Lots on here, but it still has some negotiation to do, and we won't know more for the next few weeks. But of course, Pelosi and Schumer have a two-track strategy to pass the $1 trillion infrastructure bill and this $3.5 trillion budget at the same time. They've been voted on and approved in the Senate. And the idea is there'll be more drafting, more fleshing things out, especially with the $3.5 trillion package. And according to Speaker Pelosi, they'll be brought up in the House at the same time for a vote. However, senators like Joe Manchin still oppose a lot of what's in it. So there's likely going to be some changes here. It's a massive bill. Of course, the argument is a lot of the new increase will be offset by more taxation on the wealthy and corporations and better tax enforcement. That's today's update. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, if you want to calculate your potential EIDL loan increase, find out more ahead of the big news this coming week. You can go to EIDL2.com and lots of other funding and grant information, not only on our app, but also on the website now. We'd love to hear what you think. And if you love what we're doing and you want to leave us reviews on the App Store or Trustpilot, it means the world to us. Just search Hello Skip on the App Store, Google Play or Trustpilot. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.